Hey guys, what's up? Um, pretty stoked. Uh, I've, I finally got a part that I've needed for a while. Should have got it a long time ago, but I didn't. And uh, you know how that goes. I got finally got the right side scoop for my bike. Um, this will be a, a pretty good improvement in terms of rear cylinder cooling, especially at speeds uh, higher than you know 40, 50 miles an hour. Um, it might even work at lower speeds, but um, given the heat in Texas here, this will be a huge um, help to that back cylinder. It's already suffering. It's already in trouble. And I'm just trying to milk this thing uh, for all it's worth. And then whenever the new engine is built or this one is rebuilt, whichever way that goes, this will just go to further prolong the life of the engine itself, hopefully. Um, so uh, you need to know that this is a different brand carbon fiber. Um, so everything I have is Tech Carbon, and this is a Bestem, or I don't know how you, Bestem, I have no idea. It looks like Bestem to me, so that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Um, this is one of their products. It is not pre-drilled, as you can see. There are no holes in the uh, carbon at all. And so um, I have to mark it before doing so, well, before mounting it. So what I initially thought I would do is take the old factory part and try to line it up and get get the holes kind of figured out that way. And it just wasn't, no, not gonna happen, right? It just wasn't working out so great. Um, I'm sure I could, but I wanted to make sure that I had it right. I can't say that the fitment of this is really good, very tight. And I'm kind of glad it doesn't have any pre-drilled holes so that I can make sure it maintains the fitment that I want. So, of course, I've got some the original bolts in there to uh, help me do some marking. And what the intent here is, I'm gonna dab each of these with a little bit of grease, and then I'm gonna press this up to the bike, and then that should give me some rough marks where I need to, to drill. And um, that's that's what we're gonna do. It's pretty straightforward. Um, real quick, uh, so this, again, like I said, is Bestem uh, carbon fiber. One by one plain weave. I like the plain weave. Some people really like twill. Uh, I like twill fine, but I do prefer the plain. The problem with plain is that it's it's harder to find. And um, Tech Carbon, all their stuff's seven weeks on back order, so I can't really do it. Uh, well, I can if I was patient. I have been waiting a long time to buy one of these, and um, took a chance. Now, there's like three or four manufacturers of carbon fiber. Uh, I think they're all in China. There may be others out there, but but in terms of what what I'm getting from my Buell, I'm pretty sure that's it, right? And I think they're all coming from the same source. And you can tell by looking at how well that matches up. I mean, that's almost dead on. I actually is dead on. It's the same. So I'm going to assume that that rumor is accurate that they these guys are all getting it from the same source and um yeah so no shock that it looks right all right let's get on this so this is an old trick there you can use different products you could use uh some play-doh i don't have any that's what i wanted to use i did not want grease all over the place um but you know the grease will wipe off it's okay Gosh, you guys get over it. Dang it, man. Y'all got worked up over nothing. All right. So let's try this out and then uh, show you what I got and then we'll get the drill in. What I want, want to try to avoid is just smearing it because that is not going to help me, right? I just want to get a quick press and release. And there we go. Dang, that's kind of on the edge. I think I'll drill that hole last. But there's that one and that one. So I should be able to uh, do a quick drill on those three spots, or well, at least these two to begin with. And then that one last. And of course, I'm gonna have to modify, you know, kind of elongate, et cetera, to get this to line up right. And then um, I've got uh, quite a bit of wiggle room. 
in terms of you know how big the hole can be uh, versus you know the washer size of these bolts um, and then yeah we'll just kind of go from there guys so wish me luck on this this type of crew has a plan and they begin by digging into those shoes all right guys so what i've done is i drilled a tiny pilot hole you might be able to just make that out and um, what I'm going to do is use the Dremel and uh, expand that and just kind of sneak up on where I want to be and then um, mark the subsequent holes after that. But uh, what I want to do is, is get this mounted up and make sure that this first hole is lining up properly and then go from there. Um, the other grease mark is still here and still there. And um, I just want to make sure that we're okay on that first hole. So when I hold this up, I wanted to show you all this. This is the original idea, right? I wanted to use this as a template to get the holes drilled. Well, I can't get it to sit flush on the carbon piece because it is different in its shape. It looks like it might, but it doesn't. Not at all, uh, or rather not really. So yeah, we'll just kind of, we're just gonna have to work a little at a time like we did on the uh, airbox cover. So I'm just kind of take this one step at a time. Let me get my ears in and um, we'll uh, go from there. Well, that's a success. Um, it's real tight just because of the diameter of the hole, but we're right on. So that first mark ended up being a good one. So I'm gonna just uh, expand this out a little bit and put that first bolt in and then um, try to get everything else lined up where I can. I'm gonna go ahead and erase these other marks because that'll change slightly where we're at in terms of its orientation. At least that's my thoughts anyways. So let me just kind of... Um, All right, let me explain where I'm at. So you can see I've elongating the hole. So this is where it lined up perfectly, but then this back tab wasn't lined up very well. So what I'm doing is sneaking up on it a little at a time toward the front to push this into the frame a little tighter. You'll see whenever everything's kind of put together, but I'm sneaking up on this. This is the least visible of all the bolts. So if a little bit of that uh, is showing, it's not a big deal on this one. And since I'm lining up off of this, I think the next hole I'll drill will be this one back here. So I'll get everything lined up on these two and then the last one will just kind of be, yeah, it goes right there, right? So I'm gonna come out a little bit more here on the front. Sorry, I'm gonna come out a little bit more on the front and I think that'll get me right where I wanna be where this is more in the middle centered. Right now it's kind of, toward the back side of the tab and I want to be I want that hole to be there. So just a little bit further. Oh by the way, uh, hor uh, vertically it seems to be lined up just right. So that's why I'm only working horizontally this direction because it seems to be okay in terms of this orientation. It's just back and forth that needs to be right. Hey. All right, so I just wanted to show you where we're at uh, on the bike. That's just one bolt mounted so far. And you can kind of see back there how much more air is gonna get sucked into that back cylinder. You can kind of see the alignment and how this all is supposed to work. Um, so the next one I'm gonna work on is this back mount here, all right? 
Sorry, camera's moving around. But this is where I want to be next. And um, to get that centered, I'm going to try to use the same principle uh, I did before. But you can see, like, everything is mounting up pretty well in terms of fitment on this side. Um, of course, the gap will change once the other bolts are in and everything's tight. But that's not too shabby. I, I can live with that gap. Um, so, not too bad. So once I get this one drilled, I think I think that third one will be pretty straightforward. Um, so we'll just uh, come back whenever we're closer. All right, guys. So we got that one pretty well centered up. Well, it's not perfectly centered, but it's good enough. Good enough for government work, right? So we got the last hole to do. And then once that's done, uh, we'll come back whenever we have a fully mounted right side scoop. Guys, we have arrived at the end. Um, this is the final result. Um, well, actually 99%. So I, I'm gonna get new hardware to match the other side. The other side is stainless steel. So I'm gonna get some stainless steel uh, screws to mount everything up. But as you can see, everything looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, there's a couple gaps, but mm, that's okay. You know, like, like I've been saying, I'm not as picky as some people might be. Uh, th there could be some trimming here, etc., cetera, to, to pull up more flush, but the, the intent here is too cool that back cylinder. On top of that, you know, this bike obviously needs some work. So these pieces will serve the future state of this bike and uh, more trimming and, and fitment can be done at that point too. So it's not like this is like, you know, I'm stuck with what I got, it, it's okay. So uh, anyhow, uh, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, checking this out short video today but i think uh some of you brought this this part up i'm glad i finally able i was finally able to find it and it matched even though it's a different product or brand sorry uh, probably exactly the same product no matter what brand you get that's the same thing so uh anyhow i'll post a link uh where i got it um down below and uh you guys feel free to to do your own shopping and hope this served to help in some way uh, and I'll come back, you know, later whenever it gets hotter here in Texas and let you know if I feel like it made any difference. And it really be, will be uh, subjective because, you know, it depends on when I notice that fan coming on and how much less it comes on, if I'm able to even notice that too. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's it. We're done. Okay. Jeez, we got to go. Till next time. Peace out and keep it between the ditches.